right, so it's Friday the 28th of January. We're back one week later after the iron application. We're going to deal with that later on. But first of all, I want to show you how to get perfect edges on your lawn. So the job I want to do today is I want to re-emphasise the curves of these edges. They've not been done for a few years and the customers asked me to uh, get them nice and uh, defined again. They go all the way around here. I'm only going to do two here today. I've not really got time to go all the way around but we will get on to that. These have been done last year because that, that was done last year and the year before. Uh, so this bit was done about 18 months ago and as you know that bit was done this year but it has crept over quite a lot you'd be surprised how much the grass has actually grown over so because uh, obviously every time you mow you have, you're like it's like rolling dough you it gets it, it stretches it out and it gets further and further so that's what happens with the grass as well so I'm going to get my edging tool out after but first of all I'm just going to go along with my hands and knees and pick all these leaves out to expose the edge and then it gives us a better idea of what we need to do today so let's crack on Right, so that's all cleared out. See, in some places the soil is very high, up against the grass almost, but then in other places like here, it's quite low. So the next job that we want to do, I'm going to get my strimmer out, and we just want to give these edges a strim, just to reveal that edge, and then I'll show you the neat little trick that I've got lined up for this next bit after that. So let's get on with it. Right, so you can see that the definitions already started coming back and some of you might say well that's good enough for me and you'd be quite right to say so but I just want to go a bit further because what I want to do is I want to get rid of all that moss growing on the side and we really want to define those edges even more and I'm going to do that with the edging tool but first of all I really want to just take a slither off you know I don't want to just um, edge that bit there I think I'm going to whip a bit of the lawn off and take it back a couple of inches Right, so we're happy with the edge of our lawn in terms of the shape that we've already got. We don't want to lose that. And for me to start going in with my edging tool and start guessing at trying to recreate that shape, we could end up losing what we've already got and uh, the customer wouldn't be too happy with that. So I've come up with a bit of an ingenious idea. Is I've got some line marking paint. I've got the cane that we used last week for mixing the iron and some masking tape. Just literally, you can use any tape, just something to secure it to this bottle. And I'm going to secure it to it like that with a bit of an overhang now what that's going to do is that's going to ride along the edge that we've already got whilst i'm spraying that and we will literally uh, mirror what we've already got and just bring us away a little bit i hope it works it should All right, so happy days. I think that worked a treat. I really do. I got better as it as I went along. But now what we've got is we've got a nice guideline to work off. And we'll hold that pattern that we've already got. I've just had a Dragon's Den idea. What do you reckon? Do you reckon they'd have it? Do you reckon we could mass sell it? I'm not so sure. But maybe there's something in it. Who knows? And we'll never find out. So, next job. I'm going to get my edging tool. Oh, and by the way, 
those of you who are now saying he does do aeration he does he does i don't i'm literally just stuck that fork in the ground just to keep it upright and for me to leave my edging tool on so i don't have to bend all the way down and pick them up all right so i've got my edging tool it's very old this bent it's because it's been used for everything it's been in a cement mixer it's lifted flags it's just a go-to tool for things when you just haven't got that specific tool uh, edging tool always comes in handy now there's two sides to every story You've got a flat side and like the weld side make sure that bit the flat side goes against the edge of the lawn because if you do it that way you end up taking that nugget of uh, metal out of the lawn you end up with like little grooves as so you've like half aerated the edge so just another little tip for you Right, so we've done that. What you want to try and do is keep the edging tool upright and just get a nice straight edge. You don't want to go inverted so you're actually taking uh, material from under the lawn because obviously the lawn will collapse in. Um, you ideally just want to leave a little bit of a, um, like an angle, uh, almost like a buttress. So when you do go over with the mower, you have like um, just a slight degree of an angle that just keeps the grass upright. If you don't do that, that's fine. It's, it's difficult to do. I mean, I'm not saying I've done it here all the time, but I'm uh, just gonna go pick up all the grass now, put it in my flexi tub, and then we're just gonna go over it once more and fine tune it and just polish up that soil edge with the edging tool. Because it's winter, it's a bit claggy, um, so it's a bit sticky. So it's not ideal like it would be in the summer if you did this. But like I said earlier, this is just one of the jobs you can get on with whilst the lawn's not doing much or if you've not got much to do in the garden. This is a nice thing to do and it has a real nice effect and uh, just gets that definition and, and, and makes the lawn look uh, like a new lawn in itself really. So you can see there, just been over it with the back side of that edging tool and it's just squashed all those soil particles back together to create a nice shiny finished surface. You could keep going with that and you could probably get uh, like a plasterous trowel out and get an even better finish but for me today I'm happy with that. Next job 
is I'm not going to get the strimmer out and just undo all my hard work because it's too aggressive. I've got a pair of scissors and I'm just going to go along the edge and just cut all those bits of grass off. They'll fall into the border and then to finish, that's why the fork's here. Again, not for aeration purposes, so we can fork the border a little bit and just leave it all nice and bonny. And then we'll have a look at what we did last week. Okay, so let's have my final watering. What a difference. And now it's took me 45 minutes, if that, that hebe is there, he's coming out when they did the landscaping, so that can stay in for now. Nice, defined edges. You could almost class them as perfect edges, couldn't you? Let's just step back a bit. See how effective it is. I'll just show you what it was like when we started and then what it's like now. It's just a totally different ball game. So that is how you do perfect edges on your lawn.